So let me talk a little bit about how this course works. One thing I wanna point out today, there's a fair amount of video that's part of this lesson. That's not normally going to be the case. So this also might be being a little on the longer end because we're just sort of getting through some of the first things that we wanna talk about early in the semester to orient you and get you started and get you off on your way for the course. Um, so here's how this class works. Essentially what we do is, is we operate on three different time scales. We expect you to do something every single day. Every day, we're going to post a lesson just like this one. Um, starting tomorrow, those lessons are going to cover, you know, uh, basic Java programming concepts. And by the end of the semester, we'll be doing some really wild stuff together. Um, doing this every day makes a huge difference. At the end of every lesson, there is a homework problem. Those homework problems are worth roughly a third of your grade. Um, those homework problems this semester, we are going to allow you to work on in small groups. Uh, we'll have an update to the collaboration policy on the syllabus. Um, but, you know, keep in mind that there's also a weekly quiz, which I'll talk about in a minute. But this daily routine of writing code, thinking about code, not trying to do too much, not trying to do hours and hours in one day, that doesn't work, doing a little bit every day. That does work. Trust me. We've been doing this now for four semesters, and it works. And the students that go through this and do it diligently day after day are shocked by how much they've learned by the end of the semester. So part, step, first strategy, lessons, daily lessons, just like this one, homework problems, worth 30% of your grade. Next time scale are the quizzes. Every week, starting next week, not tomorrow, tomorrow we're not gonna have a quiz, but on Tuesdays during your assigned lab time, you're gonna take a one hour, roughly proctored quiz. Those quizzes will cover the lesson content from the week before, and they'll feature a mixture of some multiple choice questions, but also some programming problems that are similar to the ones that you've just completed on the previous week's lessons. If you did the lessons, you are ready for the quiz, and you should not struggle. Now, sometimes you get into a timed environment on a quiz, and you might have a mental block and forget something or whatever. That's fine. But the quizzes are really there to get you to do the daily work. One way to think about this, if some of you have played an instrument or maybe you've been on a sports team, you've done a skill, something that takes practice. If you played an instrument, uh, the daily lessons are like your daily practice, right? You sit down for half an hour a day, an hour a day, two hours a day, and you play your cello, you play the violin, the trumpet, whatever, right? Uh, you practice your uh, foreign language, whatever it is. The quizzes are like your lesson with your teacher. Once a week, you get called in and you got to do something. Right? Like you got to show that you know a little bit more than you did the week before, that you've been doing the daily work. So the, but the quizzes are there to get you to put in the work that you need to succeed. They're not there to punish you. Uh, they're not there to trick you. Right? If you're keeping up with the lessons, you're going to do fine on the quizzes. The last component of the class is the machine project. That's something that we're going to release in maybe a month or so. Um, and this is a larger, longer, more comprehensive programming project that, you know, works on a different level than these daily homework problems. So the daily homework problems are these small little contained problems. Um, the, ma the machine project, you're going to build an entire Android app. And by the time we're done, we hope that you're going to understand almost all of it. It's not that complicated. It's a simple thing. And we're going to walk you through every step of the way. But... The machine project really complements the work you do on the homework because a lot of what you do when you go out into the world and you're trying to change it using software and the power of computer science is building bigger things. And when you build bigger things, you don't start from scratch and you approach the problem differently. But we'll get there, right? Uh, stay tuned for more on that, um, but that's a really integral part of the class. That's also work about a third of your grade. Finally, towards the end of the semester, we'll give you a chance to do an independent final project. Uh, we're still talking about whether that's going to be completely something new, or it might be take the MP, the app that you've been working on all semester, and add something cool to it. Add a new feature, uh, add a new capability that we hadn't thought of. Um, so we'll have more details on that soon. So that's how the course works. Daily lessons, weekly quizzes, and then a several month long uh, programming project that you'll do in stages. So, so the MP, sorry to go backwards, but the MP is broken down into kind of uh, bi-weekly or weekly checkpoints. So we don't just give you two months and hope for the best. We check in on your progress on a regular basis to make sure that you're keeping up and you're doing the, the work required to kind of uh, track along with the project. So, you know, we've been doing this class for, uh, the format in which we've been doing this class is new, but our approach is not, and it's tremendously successful. And the trick to doing well in this class is to keep up. 
Do your little bit every day. You can't get behind and you can't expect to do it all in one day. Uh, whether that's the MP, the daily lessons, the quizzes, right? You can't cram this stuff. It's a skill. You are rewiring your brain and there's only so much of that that you can do on a daily basis. Some of you that are new to this are going to be sh really shocked by how mentally difficult programming is. It is an incredibly fun challenge, but when you're just getting started and you know you haven't built up some of your strength yet, it will take it out of you. All right, so that's how the course works. Um, and uh, we expect you to be successful and know that with the support of the course staff, uh, you will succeed in CS125.